Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we have some massive, massive, massive news coming out of the LEC. This is something that could really change the trajectory, the future uh, of the league in so many ways. It could alter, you know, the, the game plans of teams, the spending of teams. It could alter how well the LEC is hopefully or potentially going to do at international events. It could change viewership. Uh, and if you're an LCS fan... This might be a, even a little bit more depressing than things already are. We're going to be going over this new report from Alejandro Gomez. But uh, first, a word from today's sponsor, which is, of course, Prize Picks. They are back with us, and I appreciate them so, so much. They've been absolutely insane to work with. And right now, if you guys check out the first link in the description below, you can get signed up for Prize Picks. And if you're a new user, they're going to match your first deposit up to $100. Prize Picks is daily fantasy made easy, so simple, so easy to use. Uh, and they offer League of Legends esports, uh, you know, uh, selections where uh, today I'm looking at going with a uh, Damwon Kia stack. I, I really think Damwon Kia is going to be able to put up a good fight against Gen G. I think DK has been a strong and scary team, and it's always hard for me to pick against Showmaker and Canyon. So I'm going more than seven and a half kills in the first three games for Showmaker. I really think that's like a steal. And then I'm going over uh, or more than nine and a half kills for Dak Dam in uh, the first three games of this series as well. Hopefully DK can show out. But if you guys want to make some picks for your own, like I said, check out the first link in the description below. Get signed up for prize picks. It helps support me, my channel, and my content. Thank you so much to them. With that being said, let's get right into this. So here it is, the absolute banger. Alejandro Gomez dropped this tweet. And even Wulu said, uh, J, uh, J Sui Finito or J Soy Finito, which uh, I think means uh, like I am Finnish or something like that. Like I think Wulu was really hoping to get this story out. Wulu had tweeted this morning that he had like a big, L or he had tweeted I think the night before that he had had a big LEC reporter news or whatever coming today. Um, I know that Wulu and Alejandro are friends or like you know, friendly rivals or whatever at this point, especially since they, they used to work together now they don't but these two guys are you know really really killing the game it's been so cool to watch Alejandro grow you know he's up to 32,000 followers on Twitter now he's doing an amazing job but what he tweeted out was this sources LEC will change its format for 2023 and and we had known that there were potentially some rumor changes to the formats the LEC in 2023 because uh, I think Yankos had had like leaked a little bit of stuff before somebody sent me a twitch clip of Yankos being like hey uh, I can't talk about it just yet but the 2023 LEC is going to be like the most fun the most exciting ever so then People started getting hyped. People started getting excited. But here is some of the changes. We'll dive into the article in a second. Alejandro says there will be three splits and a grand final, which I love. And we'll talk about why. The first three weeks will be the regular season. All going to be super weeks, which I think means three days of games and a lot of games. That's going to be awesome. Um, especially if they do like Friday, Saturday, Sunday with the LCS potentially moving to Wednesday and Thursday. Like then it could be cool if we get five days straight of League of Legends. But also the LEC won't have the LCS to compete with at all. And they can just dominate Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is obviously the most valuable days, the most valuable times, and the time where viewership is going to be the biggest. So that's awesome for the LEC. And then... Eight best teams will face each other in a GSL format tournament. Now, me in the United States, I don't really know what GSL is. This didn't really make sense to me. I know a lot of Americans uh, didn't really know what this meant. To my understanding, uh, and hopefully the article talks about this a little bit more, uh, that this is a Swiss format. And again, in the United States, we don't really use Swiss for pretty much anything. Um, but I'm actually a big fan of Swiss. I think Swiss is a really, really good format. And I've been saying, and I know Mark Z has talked about uh, how like MSI and World to potentially uh, incorporate some some Swiss formats and stuff like that. Um, but if you don't know what Swiss is, we can, we can talk about that a little bit in the future. And then he says the top four will advance to the playoffs. So I think this sounds absolutely awesome. Now, first, I love the idea of having three splits because that means shorter bursts of the you know meaningful games and less longer drawn out splits a big problem with both the lec and the lcs right now is that the regular seasons are too long and too boring and meaningless games are spread out for too much of the time you know we have the regular season that's like two two and a half three months whatever uh and then it all gets down to like the playoffs where they play as many games in the playoffs as they do the whole regular season if not more and those games are way more fun way more exciting way more meaningful and we're just like dragging out the regular seasons for no reason but if we condense that down then we get more games that are gonna matter more uh and you're kind of starting over the competition cycle which is uh, really really good cutting out the boring long drawn out times which is what league of legends esports needs to do 
You know, we have like one and a half big international events every year. And then in between, we have so many meaningless regular season games uh, and so few meaningful like playoff games and stuff like that and tournament matches. Um, so I think that's awesome. Uh, and then again, I love the first three weeks being super weeks, getting everything done in three weeks is awesome. I love the idea of Swiss. So in this article... Here's what he has to say. According to sources close to Blix, the LEC format will change drastically. They'll have three splits instead of two, uh, as we are used to in this competition. First split will start around January 20th, and each split will have three weeks of regular season, where each week will be played in three days. Uh, it is very likely that it'll be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. At the end of the three-week regular season, the eight best teams will advance to a GSL elimination format. The two eliminated teams will finish their split without playing GSL format tournament. So again, top eight move on, top two are done. This phase of the split will last two weeks in the first two splits and a little bit more in the third split. The games of this tournament will be best of three. So we are also getting best of threes incorporated into this. That's a home run. That's a win. That's a banger for sure. Uh, like just that's so, so good for them. How does the GSL style format work? The GSL style format takes a significant amount of influence from double elimination bracket. Essentially, the first two games are played as normal with the winning team going to the winner's bracket, losing team going to the loser's bracket. Uh, teams competing in a GSL style group have three attempts to qualify out of the group, pick up two wins and you progress in the tournament, lose twice and you suffer elimination. So here's how it works. You know, every team zero zero uh, and there, there'll be four games. Uh, you know, there'll be eight teams. Everybody plays everybody. If you win, you go up. If you lose, you go down. And then you'll have four 1-0 teams and four 0-1 teams. They'll play each other. And then the winners, again, will go up. Uh, if you're in the 0-1 and you win, you'll go to the, go to the 1-1. and If you're 1-0 and you win, you'll go to the 2-0. and If you lose, you go down. If you lose, you go down. Um, and then, you know, the 0-2 teams will, will be eliminated. And then you'll have the 2-0 and teams play each other. And you'll have the 1-1 teams play each other. Winners go up. Losers go down. If you're 1-2, and you're eliminated. If you are, uh, but I guess if you're 2-0, and you advance. So you're not even playing each other. So it's just the 1-1 and teams playing against each other. You go up and down. And, and then the 2-1. Uh, then the one and two teams would play against each other. I, I don't know exactly how it's going to work because it's kind of confusing at the end. Um, because if you have two losses, I think you're eliminated. So I don't understand how the one and two teams. So I, I don't know exactly how it's going to work. But but I mean, that's the gist of it. That like you're constantly playing teams with the same record as you. Winners are going up. Losers are going down. Uh, and it makes for it like theoretically, it makes for close, exciting, compelling matches because you're playing. You should be constantly playing teams of similar strength as you. Uh, and it really is a good format for the best teams advancing. Uh, yeah, it can be matchup dependent at times, but uh, I think it's going to be fun and exciting. The four teams that qualify in the previous tournament will compete in the playoffs of that LEC split. The tournament will also have a GSL format, but only with four participants, and these will be best of five. This is also really cool. This is going to be best of three, apparently. Lastly, we have the LEC finals, which will be played around August of 2023. In these finals, the six best teams of the LEC will qualify and will compete with a similar format um, to the one used in the LCS 2022 spring playoffs. All the games of the LEC finals will be played in a best of five. This format is confirmed. The best teams in European region will play many more games than in the previous format, while the two worst teams will play far fewer. And that is also a big, big, big consideration from this whole thing. The fact that Good teams play more games and bad teams play less games is great for entertainment. You know, less BDS against Astralis because, hey, they're going to get eliminated. They're not even going to be in there. So more good matchups, which is great for entertainment. It's also great for viewership. It's going to help the thing grow because, again, the big, the big, popular, better teams are going to be playing more games. That's awesome. When you tune in, you're more likely to see good teams playing. And... It also strongly incentivizes teams to try and be good. You don't want to be those bottom teams because you are going to have less airtime. Having less airtime is terrible for business, terrible for sponsorships, terrible for ads, branding, all of that stuff. So you are incentivized to spend a little extra, try a little harder. Even if you were lower in split one, you're incentivized to try and get better in split two. This is what people have been asking for for so long. Don't let the bottom teams coast. Don't let the bottom teams, you know suck off the success of the topper teams or the upper teams or whatever. I don't know. These aren't even words, but this is such a good thing. And man, again, roping this back to the LCS, the LEC is dropping this banger on us. And I really think an awesome, awesome, exciting format. I'm sure it'll have issues. I'm sure that'll, it'll, they'll, they'll be flaws, especially in the first year, but one, at least it's something different at a time where people are saying they are getting, you know, bored or exhausted of the old formats. We want something new. We want something exciting. This will be a shiny new toy, whether it's good, bad, better, worse, whatever. It'll at least be different. It'll at least be interesting. I'm expecting viewership to be very, very high throughout the year. And as they find out issues, they can always patch holes into the future, into the next years, in between splits, whatever. 
but the LEC to break out a new exciting format that's going to increase uh, entertainment, I really do believe. And then the LCS is like, oh, you guys are doing that? Cool. Well, our big exciting thing for the offseason is that we're going to have games on Wednesdays. What do you think about that? I don't know. Frustrating time to be an LCS fan, but man, a very, very exciting team, a very, very exciting time to be an LEC fan. And this just makes me want to get even more involved in the LEC going forward in 2023. And I really do think that that's going to be a big part of my channel, my career and my content going forward. So I'm hyped up, but that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hope that I catch you next one. Peace.